I'm Rhiannon Whatman. This is um, part B um, of the prac from unit number eight. Um, <clears throat> I think that uh, for me personally, this um, role play was one of my best. I, I really like the solution focused therapy. Um, and I think with the right sort of client, um, it could work wonders. Um, <clears throat> I think that with my client, Anilla, when she came in, um, she was quite overcome with, um, stress and, uh, she mentioned being at her wits end and things like that. Um, she definitely sort of was quite low. Um, I think by, um, using the exception questions um and getting her to think about times when she's not feeling low i think that worked really well um and i actually saw her um perk up like her mood changed when she began talking about things that um made her happy um and just simply highlighting the fact that um yes there are some stresses going on with her daughter but um that doesn't actually overtake her entire life and that there are exceptions to feeling stressed out um, I think the, I think the scaling question went well, um, and it also, I think worked well in that it gave both me and the client, um, an idea of the sort of goals, um, and, 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 and what we want to achieve from the counseling process from me asking her how we would progress closer to 10. So by her sort of, um, discussing ways that she would feel um like she could rate herself closer to 10 sort of gave gave me an idea of um what she wants to achieve from um seeking counseling um the miracle question again that's another one that sort of highlighted some goals and where the counseling process would go as far as the directions concerned um it, um, I also think that it, um, it highlighted the fact that um, even though we perhaps can't wave a magic wand and instantly fix the tension between her and her daughter, um, it did actually um, broach the subject of um, figuring out ways to deal with the stress that's, that it comes from this situation. So rather than... Uh, focusing on that we're actually um, looking at how she responds to that and how we can make her responses um, more effective so that uh, she you know can can focus at work better and um, you know you know is able to sit down and scale herself closer to 10 rather than just being a three um I think the discussion, the eye contact, um, I think the flow of, of the session went really well. I think um, from from going from the scaling question to exception questions and then sort of uh, bringing up the miracle question, I think um, worked really well. Uh, I to wrap it up, I did want to sort of compliment her on on the uh, on the fact that she was there on the fact that she was very open and that to me it seemed like she had the right attitude for counselling and for particularly for solution-focused therapy. Um, I think I got a little bit lost at the end there with um, complimenting her. I, I uh, sort of all just um, jumbled up, but I hope I hope that I got the, the message through that um, that she should be proud of herself, um, that... that uh, I certainly was proud of her for, for um, coming to see me and obviously opening up and sharing um, her problems. Um, and then being able to then sort of move on to setting that homework, I think, um, was really good. Um, as far as limitations go... Um, I may have wanted to delve into a little bit more about um, how, how how the issues are making her feel, um, sort of emotionally, like um, 
obviously stress and things like that, but um, going in a little bit deeper, um, which is a completely different therapy. That's that it doesn't really have its place in solution focused therapy. And to be honest, um, even though it's something that I am mm, sort of always prone to want to do. Um, I actually think that this has been one of the role plays that's actually highlighted the fact that it's not always necessary um, to delve into the problem and, um, you know, really go through all the issues. I think this one by, you know, I had a general idea of what was going on, going on at home, what was causing her stress, but it was more, okay, there is a problem, but where do we want to be? Where do we want to be in the future? What do we want our life to be and how are we going to get there? Um, I think it was good. From the from the way that the client worked in it, walked in at the start, quite low, um, seeming quite stressed. By the end of it, she was um, definitely more upbeat. Um, she was certainly eager to... Um, do, do the homework and, 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 and also telling her that we were going to um, sort of come up with ways to help deal with stress and, and her situations with her daughter. She seemed very, very keen on that as well. Um, so I think overall it went well. Um, one thing that I have to work on is my, um, is my reactions and responses when um, a client says their problem to show empathy. Um, I want, I want my my instinct is to go quite deep and 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 to be really sympathetic and 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 um, you know talk more about the problem and I know that that's not quite right for this therapy so I'm finding that I, I kind of feel a little bit awkward when doing responses now you know saying oh you know that's um that must be quite hard to deal with or oh, I completely understand or something like that it, it it's true, I do, um, but I suppose my instinct is to go further and uh, so it just feels a little bit awkward. Um, but I think overall it was good. I really think that this therapy suited the client um, perfectly um, and I probably wouldn't have changed anything, really. I think it went well. Um, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Thanks.